हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई टॉट हाउ टू फाइंड कर्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन बाय टेकिंग डेविएशन फ्रॉम अर्थमेटिक मीन नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड कर्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन बाय टेकिंग डेविएशन फ्रॉम अज्यूम मीन Okay, so there are four methods. First was when deviation taken from arithmetic mean, and second is when deviation is taken from assumed mean. So we are studying second when deviation is taken from assumed mean. So word deviation when this is from assumed mean is denoted by d, and there are two variables. First is x, second is y. So you need to find two d values. First is what? first is considered as dx and second is considered as dy so dx is equal to x minus a and dy equals to y minus b where a and b are what where a and b are assume mean of x and y respectively so first we will see assume mean from x so you can take any value from x as a and we will try to take middle value of the data middle value of data means uh, for which 50% values are lesser than this and 50% values are greater than this so in this case we can take 10 as mid value or you can take any other as mid value so we are taking 15 as middle value or we can say assume mean not middle value now you may take one assume mean from y so you will always take corresponding value of y as b assume mean you will not take any other value as b because if you will take any other value then you will get r uh, is r may be more than one so this is a and this is b now you need to find dx dx is equal to x minus a so first value of x is 2 and a we are considering 15 so this dx is equal to x minus a that is what 2 minus 15 is equal to minus 30 in same way you can find dy dy is what y minus b and first value of y is 10 and b equals to 21 so simply this 10 minus 21 this is equals to minus 11 now we will see formula first so in this formula first term is what n now n is what in this case there are five pairs of x and y so that's why for this case n equals to number of pairs this is 5 now second term you need to learn summation dx dy this is summation dx into dy minus this is summation of dx multiplied by summation of dy now these two under roots one is for x and second is for y so in numerator we will replace a first by by x so this term become n summation so on replacing this by this become dx so dx into dx this is now considered as dx square and this is what again dx so now formula is summation of dx and now it's whole square so this is the for this is for x now for y we will write the same thing summation of dy square and minus summation dy and it's whole square so first we will prepare column for dx this one then we will prepare column for dy and as per requirement of this formula you need to prepare column for dx square which is this one and then you need to prepare column for dy square this is this one and this is the product of dx and dy so this column is for product of dx and dy so this is the product now you will find summation of all these so this summation is summation of dx and this is the summation of summation dy and this is the summation of dx square so this is summation dx square and this is what summation dy square this second one 
and this last one is considered as summation dx and dy. Now you will put all these values in this formula. So we will see this r equals to and then two under roots Okay, so n equals to for this question is 5, we will put 5 here. So for all places of n, we will put 5 and then summation dx dy is this 267. So this quantity multiplied by 267 minus summation dx is minus 20. So you will put this as minus 20 and this summation dy is what? Minus 15. So this is minus 15. Now, this is summation dx square, summation dx square is this 268 and minus, this is what summation dx whole square, so summation dx is minus 20, so that's why we will put minus 20 here and then we will take its square and then this 5 multiplied by summation dy square, so summation dy square is this term, this is what 287 and minus this is summation uh, dy whole square. So summation dy is this minus 15. So this is minus 15 and then we will take its square. So on solving you will see this value as plus 0 0.97. So this means again positive symbol. So there is positive correlation as this value towards 1. So we can say there is a strong relationship. So completely this is a strong for positive correlation between advertisement expense and sales. So you will see from both the method previous one this is also r is equal to uh, this is also r is equal to 0 0.97 and from this method also you are getting this 0 0.97. This means you can apply any method but one important thing, when you have x bar and y bar in integer form, then please try to avoid using this first formula because of decimal, these calculation become so lengthy and time consuming. And in this second case, when deviation taken from assume mean, there is no situation like decimal and there are very small digits, you can calculate directly without using calculator also. So, in these two methods, this one is best. I hope you understand this concept. In next lecture, we will see third method. Third method to find R when step deviation is taken. So, please like this video, subscribe my channel, Ganit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.